Hey, what's going on again, YouTube friends? This is uh, Danny with Mesa Towing, located here in San Diego, California. More likely in Spring Valley, California, but it's also part of San Diego. Spring Valley is considered the county of San Diego, or the other way around. Something like that. Oh well, who cares? So, I am back again. Junior, say hi to the camera. <laughs> Very sarcastic, huh? Well, anyways, so I'm back here tonight again. Finally, I've been able to have a little bit of spare time so I can get back and start working back again on this 1969 Firebird. Okay, the last video that I posted previous to this one, it was when this whole quarter panel right here, it was completely rusted. And now it's not. I cut off all the the old pieces the old rusted pieces and we patched the quarter panel with new pieces of metal okay as you can see it looks like Frankenstein but don't trip though okay we're gonna go ahead and um, make it look really nice also along with that too right here it used to have a den this it was uh, caved in towards this way and as you can see Right there, this is where it's, um, where we did the, the spot wheels as far as for the new style of dam puller. And as I was pulling out, you know, the dents, this happened, but no biggie. We're going to go ahead and get that cover. That right there, though, you can see right here. I still got a, I still have a vice grip holding some uh, piece of metal. Well, anyways, on the first video, <clears throat> I show you guys, we show you guys this whole section of the car. This is uh, the back of the window. How it was completely rusted. Well, Mr. Junior and I, we were able to um, remove the old piece that it was here. And uh, with some adjustments and a little bit here and a little bit there and a little bit everywhere, we uh, tack well this new piece on it. Okay? So you can see some of the spot wells. These ones right here, these are the, well, oops, right here. These ones are the spot wheels, the new ones that I the, that I that I that I did, but um, I already kind of like grind them down and all that, so I'm trying to make it as smooth as I can because this is where the window is gonna go right here. You know, you put the caulking and then you set the window on top and the chromes and all that, so it can have no high spots. Otherwise, the window's gonna be sticking sticking up, and you don't want that. Well, anyways, so I only did this little section right here as far as grinding them down. As you can see, I still have a high spot here, another one here, and here's the other ones, the ones that they have that I haven't touched yet. Spot wells, and then right here too. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and hand the camera to Mr. Junior right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, how to make this nice and smooth. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a little break and then I'm going to come back again and show you guys how to apply the kitty hair, how to mix it and that kind of stuff. We're going to go ahead and use some of that right here. Okay. And I just want to do that. I mean, just for, uh, for reinforcement, maybe uh, some, some, uh, some people that they do body work, they don't, they don't do that. I mean, they just put a little bit of bundle and that kind of stuff. Or you know what, I just might go with bundle. Yeah, but uh, let me go ahead and uh, hand the camera to Mr. Junior. And don't forget guys, whenever you're about to uh, grind something with the grinder, never forget this. Okay, this is very important right here. Because without this, you guys are gonna be like me. Quick story, real quick. Um, that was this one time that I was working on the 1968 Pontiac Ventura. And I was doing body work. The car had um, a vinyl top. Not this one. I'm talking about another one. The one that uh, that I used to have. It had vinyl top. And underneath the vinyl top, it was completely rusted. So all this whole section on the other car, it was completely rusted. So when I removed the vinyl top, I didn't have safety glasses on. Okay. And... <clears throat> trying to be evil can evil I guess or macho man I just started using the grinder I was younger too though young and stupid so 
started using the grinder. Next thing you know, a piece of metal went inside of my eye. And I went inside the house, tried to flush it out and all that, and nah, it hurt. To the point, I mean, it started making my eye water like really bad, so I had to go to the emergency room. So when I got down to the emergency room, guess what? Um, doctor told me that I had a piece of metal stuck inside of my, my eye. And told me uh, that they were going to go ahead and get it out. I said, okay, no biggie. <laughs> they put me in this thing where they um, strapped my face down pretty much where I couldn't move. And they put this gadget on my eyes where they pried it open, wide open. I couldn't shut it. Next thing you know, I see a big old needle like this coming straight at me like this. Boom. And boy, if I freaked out. <laughs> I got Junior laughing at me. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. You know, so anyway, you know what? They put the needle in, inside of my eye. I thought it was going to hurt. I mean, I thought it was going to be like one of those um, horror movies, but nah. It wasn't. I didn't even feel it, but just the fact, okay, you know, seeing a needle coming straight into your eye, there's nothing you can do. You can't even close your eye. You got this gadget only your eye, you know, right, you know, wide open, so... Okay, so just remember, fellas, okay? Never forget to wear one of these, all right? It is very important, otherwise you can end up like me at the hospital. So here you go, Junior. Oh, one more thing. This is what I use, this kind of wheel. Again, it's like a whole bunch of little sandpapers. Okay, and it's on the 60 grin. Okay, you can go to a Home Depot or places where they sell, you know, um, Grinding wheels for like uh, for uh, welding supply or even uh, at your local auto body, you know, in pain or, you know, certain stores they have them. They're not that. I'm, I go to Harbor Freight to get them and they're only made like about two, three bucks each. And then this one here is made by Chicago Electric Power Tools. I bought this one at um, Harbor Freight like about maybe like about two three years ago and boy if i've been using that it was like about 20 30 bucks so here it is here you go Junior. so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this one how about so we'll get some safety goggles here where you can really can end up like me so let me go quick show you around the car real quick <clears throat> sorry about that I had my mask on so this is the next section that I'm gonna be doing on this right here look how rusted it is okay and um, I'm gonna be doing this right here and all the way along the front windshield where it goes all this is completely rusted so I'm gonna go ahead and fix this up too um, as a matter of fact, you know what? Let me go ahead and spray some of that stuff that is really good for the rust. It keeps the stuff, I mean, it keeps the rust from coming back, which is this one here. Let me go ahead and show you guys a little bit. So, this is the stuff right here. Is this one? I actually bought this one. The name of the store from where I got it from is called Gerald's um, Auto Paint Supply. They're located in National City, Model Cars in San Diego, California. And this is the product number right here. Again, if you give them this number, uh, you can only buy this like at a auto paint supply store. Okay. Um, here in San Diego, we got several of them. We had one that goes by my last name, uh, Mesa's. Uh, paint and we have another one that's called Bob uh, Gerald's uh, paint supply okay and you know both of those companies I mean they're really good companies they have very good prices and you know if you walk in there and you ask them for this number here or just you know screenshot this right here it's, it's a little score bottle okay let me show you guys how to apply it okay just like the way it is you grab it and you just spray it on. It has a little smell to it. You really want to go ahead and apply especially right here on the inside. Okay. 
I'm trying not to take a deep breath. And pretty much what it does, just like that, he then you just let us in. And what it does, it stops um, the rust from coming back. You know, it's cool for the areas, I mean, where you actually are able to reach, like some places right here. But sometimes when it's too far gone, you want to go ahead and, and spray some of that because that'll keep the areas that you're not able to reach. Uh, it, it'll prevent from the rust coming back again. And then on the, the outside areas, I mean, where you can actually go ahead and grind it down you know good and maybe add up another piece of metal or something you know you can probably work with those um well anyways so let me go ahead and show you guys again you don't want to go too far down all the way down to too too far down okay because otherwise you can go ahead and break the well and you don't want that so here you go jenner There you go. So I'm just gonna show you guys just a little bit. I mean, I'm not gonna go ahead and do the whole thing all the way to the other side. I am, but not um, taking the video. I mean, it will be kind of boring. So anyways, let me go ahead and finish up the other side right now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and come back again. And in case that we get disconnected, cause I am using my cell phone. Okay, you know, to do this video. Okay, um, in case I get a call or something, I mean, don't you worry, I'm going to go ahead and start another video, okay? So in case we get disconnected, so for right now, I'm going to go ahead and take a little break with the camera, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 